The mission of the TBTF Foundation is to help at-risk kids in our community to get access to science, technology, engineering, and math education, and ultimately careers in our community. Uh, the TBTF Foundation works very closely with uh, other um, uh, organizations in the community. What we want to do is make sure that we get as much leverage as we can from, uh, from the things that other organizations are doing. So rather than reinvent the wheel and create a scholarship program, for instance, uh, we believe it's more effective use of our resources to work with organizations that already have scholarship programs. So for example, we work very closely with the Hillsborough Education Foundation and the Pinellas Edu Education Foundation and the Boys and Girls Clubs who all have programs to uh, select and select kids, administer the distribution of funds, and, and mentor kids as they go through their educations. So we participate in those programs with money, with, uh, uh, with mentors, and with participation in the selection process, which helps us get uh, more impact out of the dollars and the effort that we put into them. The foundation's been in existence for about 10 years. Uh, was founded shortly after the, uh, the TBTF itself was founded as a way for the members of TBTF to give back to the community. Um, we started initially to uh, try to tackle the digital divide, which is uh, the fact that um, poor kids, unfortunately, don't have the same access to technology as, um, as we might like them to. Uh, and we focused initially on providing funding and support to the Boys and Girls Clubs in the Tampa Bay area uh, to create technology labs. It's been phenomenally successful. We have uh, worked with the Boys and Girls Clubs to establish labs in 26, I believe is the right number, labs in the Tampa Bay area. And uh, through those labs, we're able to serve something like 2,000 kids a day and six or 8,000 kids through the course of a year that now have the opportunity to come in and work with computers, have access to the internet to, to do research for school. Um, there are uh, programs through the Boys and Girls Clubs for them to learn, uh, learn how to use software and learn how to use uh, the computers as a tool. Uh, very, very pleased with the success of that program. Uh, once we, uh, we felt that that program was underway, we turned our focus a little bit to uh, funding scholarships and have worked with the uh, Hillsborough Education Foundation, the Pinellas Education Foundation, and the Boys and Girls Clubs to provide scholarship money. Two reasons for that really. One is um, we wanted to take kids that really do have the capability and the drive to get college degrees, uh, but just honestly didn't have the, uh, the, uh, the financial wherewithal to do it. We wanted to be able to make a point that those kids can uh, get an education and can succeed, and quite honestly we wanted them to be role models to other kids in that community so that the, the vision is that at some point in the future, in the near future, um, these kids will finish college and then they'll come back and work with us to help encourage other kids to, to go down the same path that they went down. Uh, at this point, looking forward, um, we see tremendous need across a lot of different, uh, uh, different areas. Uh, but our focus is on um, it, thinking about the entire life cycle or the entire cycle of a kid's life from early stage where we're working with organizations like the Boys and Girls Clubs to provide access to technology as well as um, at the, uh, when kids are a little older to give them help with a college education or a non-college career path and then ultimately to get them internships and, uh, and jobs in the Tampa Bay area. There are also a lot of steps in between. So we're working, for example, with the Hillsborough County School District to develop a or they've developed a program, we're working with them to fund and execute a program that will enable kids to get uh, career-based certifications while they're finishing their high school degree and give them a little bit of a, a leg up uh, in getting into the job market or in fact in, in using that skill to, to go on to college. We're also working with kids in middle schools to provide them mentors and, and programs that will give them uh, access to people in the community that are working in technology fields so that the kids the kids can just be exposed to what the possibilities are for, for these kind of career paths and education paths. You know, many of these kids um, just don't know anybody that's an engineer or a software developer, and so it doesn't even occur to them that that might be a career that they could pursue. So part of the idea there is to just light the fire a little bit, get, let kids know that people are doing these kinds of things so that uh, with a little bit of luck we'll, we'll light a spark, the kid will get interested, and then we can help them through some of the other education programs uh, to pursue those careers. 
That's a great question. You know, there, um, there are a lot of reasons that we do what we do and that I do what I do um, with regard to the foundation. You can, you can make an argument for the impact that, that these kinds of activities have on the community um, by making, uh, providing more kids that ultimately can work in local, local businesses. There are businesses that, uh, that have jobs that we just don't have the right people with the right set of skills available to. So you can make that argument. You can make the argument that the country as a whole is kind of losing ground in the world economy um, in our ability to, to um, educate kids and make them available to, to pursue careers in, in the technical fields. But honestly, the, the, biggest, uh, the biggest motivator for me is when you, when you talk to some of these kids and you realize that there are tremendously smart kids, uh, tremendously uh, enthusiastic about um, about pursuing education that honestly without a little bit of help just aren't going to get there. They, they come from difficult backgrounds, they may not have a, a role model to, to help them understand what the, what the possibilities are and they just don't have the economic wherewithal to, to go become what they have the potential of becoming. And when you talk to some of those kids and you realize what they can become, the idea that we're going to help some of them and hopefully a lot of them over the course of time um, fulfill their potential, uh, to me, um, there's just nothing better than spending time with the kids and seeing what they're actually capable of doing and thinking that we might help them get a little bit farther in the world.